Green lab view. So if we look at the green line, that shows the left-right move. So uh, if we look still for a second, Chris looks left, we can see a spike up into the uh, area. If he looks right, we can see the corresponding spike down. Now likewise, this red line shows the up-down movement. So if he looks up, again, we see that spike up. And if he looks down, we see a spike down. So from there, we're able to, to simulate uh, these simple triggers by setting the uh, red and blue limit areas. Uh, and once we do that, we're able to actually play a game. Yeah, so we wrote a couple games and uh, playing with all the places. Let's do the first one. So uh, we, we wrote our own little uh, version of a game so we can show some of the, the possibilities. This is a, a you turn the volume up, home for the pretty popular format. Yeah. So this is like, you know, a standard uh, dance, dance revolution game or something like that, where uh, you know, you've got these arrows and you look in that direction. So like go left, right. And so he's actually synchronizing his looks uh, in the different directions uh, to, to coordinate with the music. Uh, and, and again, this is just a, a proof of concept system that we developed to show that with, with a, this type of prototyping platform, you can really build any type of biomedical device you want. And I definitely think, uh, looking forward, that we're going to see more and more of these kind of sensor integration. We already have things like Connect, uh, you know, why not add eye movements on top of